welcome to Duke Street Junction. We're sorry that we couldn't meet in the building like we would have liked to have done, but we hope that you're gonna enjoy the service all the same. Um, today, our service is gonna be all about saying thank you to God. And in the Bible, in one of the Psalms, it says, I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell all the miracles you've done. I will be happy because of you. God most high, I will sing praises to your name. So we're going to have some songs, we're going to have a story and a game and a craft activity and we really hope that you'll be able to join in with us at home and have some fun as we say thank you to God and we remember to say thank you to God because sometimes I think we forget a little bit, don't we? But we're going to remember this morning. So shall we pray before we start? Father God, thank you so much that even though we can't be together in this building, we can join in our own homes and watch at the same time as everybody else and know that we're all thinking about each other. We pray you will help us to be caring and loving for each other and to be praying for each other as we are all um, stuck in our own homes, but also safe in our own homes. In your name, Amen. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a song. Now, please join in at home. You're allowed to sing at home. And if you don't know the actions, you can make up some actions. Um, or if not, you can just have a good old dance. So here's Dave with a song for us. you're going to need at least two people and you're going to need some toilet rolls so hopefully you've got some in. Now one person is going to take the toilet roll and they're going to wrap the other person up in it like it's bandages okay so you can wrap their arms and legs kind of individually or you can wrap them with their arms by the sides like this but wrap them up as well as you can as quickly as you can. The person who's all bandaged up then has only 10 seconds to get out of the bandages. Okay, so you've got to time them, you've got to do a 10 second countdown. Now, um, 
Ike and Ben played this game for us in their houses. So have a look at how they got on, it's quite funny. Um, and then you have a go and you play the game as well at home and you might want to play it a few times. So, you know, one time you might want to wrap up your brother or sister and the next time you might want to wrap up mummy or daddy or anybody else who's in the house with you. So feel free to pause while you play the game and have a lot of fun. And when we do the story in a few minutes, it's going to make a lot more sense. That was fun, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had some fun with that and I hope you've all tidied up now. And all that toilet roll. Now we're going to listen to our story now and the game is going to make a little bit more sense after you've heard, heard the story. So have a watch, Pip's going to tell our story for us and after that there's going to be a craft video so you might want to watch that and then pause while you do some craft and after you've done your craft and watch the craft video play again and Sophie is going to help us with some prayers all about saying thank you, thank you to God. Good morning, it's Pip here. How is everyone? Good, we all hope. Today we're going to talk about saying thank you. It's just been Christmas, hasn't it? And I'm sure some of you got some lovely presents and I'm sure you all wanted to say thank you for your presents. Maybe some of you sent a special thank you card. Maybe some of you had a phone call or sent a text to say thank you. Or maybe some of you were blessed enough to be with the people who gave you the gifts face to face and you could say thank you to them face to face. We say thank you lots of times a day, don't we? To our mums and dads, sisters and brothers and anyone else who does, does something for us or gives us something. But do we remember to thank God? Our Bible story today is about ten lepers. Do you know what a leper is? No, it's not an animal with spots on. That's a leopard. <laughs> but a leper does have spots. A leper is a person who is poorly with something called leprosy. Leprosy makes a person have sores all over their body and sometimes bits of their body get burned or hurt because leprosy means that they can't feel it when they are close to a fire or a knife when they're cutting up vegetables. In Jesus' day, lots of people had leprosy and people who had leprosy were told that they were not clean. They had to stay away from other people so that nobody else got poorly with it. They weren't allowed to live in their own house with their own family or even in their own village. They had to live with other people who had leprosy so they didn't pass it on to anyone who was well. One day, Jesus was walking through a small village when he saw a group of ten lepers. They stood far away from Jesus and called to him, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. They knew who Jesus was and that he could make them better. When Jesus heard them, he called back to the lepers and said, Go, show yourself to the priest. As the lepers went on their way to see the priest, they looked at their skin and the sores were gone. Jesus had healed their leprosy. They were so happy that they, they ran up and down the street singing and dancing. Then suddenly one of them stopped and, and went back, saying thank you to God with a loud voice. And he knelt down at Jesus' feet and said, thank you. Jesus said to him, weren't there ten of you who were healed? Where are the other nine? Only out of ten remember to say thank you. Only one of you. God does so much for us. 
Every day he provides everything we need. Food, clothes, a lovely world to live in, mums and dads and brothers and sisters and everyone else in our family. Do we ever forget to say thank you? Let's stop right now and say thank you and ask God to help us to remember to thank him every day. Thank you, God. Okay, so for this week's craft, you're gonna need some white paper, a couple of pieces of colored paper, um, a Pritt stick, some colored pens, and some scissors, or someone that can help you use some scissors, like uh, one of your parents or a brother and sister. So you're going to take your white piece of paper, put your hand on it and draw around it with whatever colour you want. Once you've drawn around both your hands, cut them out. And then stick both of them onto one of your coloured sheets of paper. And then on your other piece of paper you're going to draw a speech bubble and you're going to write inside it, thank you. And then you're going to go back to your hands and for each finger you're going to draw a face or some hair and make it a little person. These are your ten people. And then you're going to take your speech bubble, cut it out and you're going to stick it just by one of the people because only one of them said thank you, didn't they? And there's your finished product. Jesus healed ten people but only one said thank you. We're going to use our hand to help us with our prayers. Hold on to your thumb. Your thumb is your closest to your heart. So let's thank God for those closest to us. Dear God, thank you for our friends and family who love us. Thank you that our mums and dads are there to look after us. Help us all to be patient when we are spending lots of time together and to treat our brothers and sisters well. Thank you, God, for the time we can have fun together. We can use the next finger to, to point things out. So let's think about the things we see around us. Dear God, we thank you for our world. We thank you that we can go out for walks or to the park to run around or play. Help us look after our world. So the middle finger is the tallest. Let's pray for our leaders. Dear God, we pray for those who lead our country. Help them make wise decisions. Thank you for our teachers. Thank you that they are working hard to teach us at school or by lessons on the computer and over the internet. God, we ask that you would look after our teachers and keep giving them ideas so that we can enjoy learning new things each day. This finger is the weakest, so let's pray for those who are sick and in need. God, we pray for the people we know who are sick. May they know that you are with them. We pray for the doctors and nurses who are looking after all those poorly people. May they be brave in their work. God, help us help other people who have less than we do. So there's one finger left, the little finger. Let's pray for ourselves. Dear God, thank you that you love us. You know us and we are special to you. You know when we feel sad and happy. You know when we are tired and fed up, but also when we have lots of energy and are excited. Help us to grow, to be more like you. Amen. Brilliant. Thanks, Sophie, for the prayers and Pip for the um, story. And of course, Ben and Ike for that funny video. Um, so we are coming to the end of our service now. We hope you've had lots of fun. We hope you've been reminded that we have so many things to thank God for.
And the last thing we're going to do to finish our services, Paul Stockdale's going to sing a song for us. So again, join in if you know it. Um, I'm sure you get the hang of it. It's really easy. And if you don't know the actions, make some up or make up a good little dance routine. You guys are really good at that. Okay, so thank you for so much for joining us. Um, we will be back in February with another Duke Street Junction. And in February, it's happening on a very special day. Can you guess what special day is happening in February? Valentine's Day. So we'd love you to join us then. Uh, until then, take care, keep saying thank you. And here's Paul with our closing song. See you soon, everyone. Bye.